Hello. In this section, we're going to go through the song Amazing Grace. And we're going to go through the vocabulary of it. Now, in this part, we're going to go through how to sign the individual words. Okay? But I really don't want you to get hung up on the individual words. As you practice this, I'd like for you to practice it in phrases. Now, if you've watched my videos before, you're, you've heard that same admonition many, many times. And there's a good reason for it. Because if you learn the song in phrases, then your song will sound like sentences as opposed to individual words. And you really don't want to sound like Roboto. Okay? Even to the deaf, that sounds funny. Alright? So, Amazing Grace. That's an amazing song. It's ubiquitous across all Christianity. It's a simple story. The fellow figures out that he is a sinner and is just amazed at the grace that God's willing to afford him. And for that reason, the song has, has lasted for hundreds of years. And it's one of the reasons why I've chosen it today. We often forget how amazing God's grace is to us. So preaching aside, here we go. Amazing grace. Just the words. Amazing. Amazing. Alright? Now, amazing is not amazing. You know, amazing doesn't sound very amazing. Amazing. Get the eyebrows up, alright? It's amazing. You know, if someone walked into your house and gave you a trillion dollars, you wouldn't go, oh, amazing. You go, amazing, okay? And it's the eyes getting big is kind of what the sign's associated with. Grace. Grace is a, is circle splat, all right? This is the way I describe it. You just kind of make a circle and then you go splat. And what that really is, is kind of a picture of Paul, actually Saul at that time, walking down the road to Damascus, and Jesus, the light, ding, Saul, why are you doing this? All right, that's the picture I have for the word grace. Circle splat, and it's really the, the brightness of, of Jesus. <coughs> how sweet the sound. Okay, the word how, in the English language, is an odd word. You, you use it all the time. It's a question. You say, how do I do that? How is that done? Uh, how, how, how can I do that? Okay, it, it got a question mark at the end. The word how is a question. There is no question in this sentence. Okay? It's an emphasis. So, we're going to leave the word how out all right, and we're going to replace it with the word truly, because this is how the deaf would emphasize. We say how sweet, and the, the deaf would say truly sweet. Okay, so since this is an interpreting class, we're going to sign that in not English but in deaf, where we would say truly, and it's just finger pointing up. Come. Touch the bottom of your chin and come out. Truly, okay? Truly sweet. You ever get cotton candy or a candied apple? You ever get it on your chin? You always get it on your chin. Here we go. Sweet. You're getting that sweet stuff off your chin. The sound. And while the deaf don't have sound, they do have a sign for it. It's point to the ear. And then, okay, the sound that saved a wretch like me, okay, we use a lot of words in our English language that are what I call connective words. I'm no English major, there's probably a real English terminology for that, but the word that in this sentence is a connective Okay? It connects the sound with the saving. 
all right? We're just going to leave the word out. The deaf really don't have much use for connective words. So things like that and at and, and to and and, uh, and well, maybe they use and some, but anyway, uh, a lot of these little letter, single letter words are all left out. Sound, anyway, that, we're leaving it out, saved, saved, and it's just two S hands, and that, that's not real important, but that's, try to make two S hands, you just cross your arms, and then bring them out, saved, okay, saved, uh, like, uh, say, a wretch like me, a wretch. What is a wretch? What was the fellow who was writing this saying? What was the point he was trying to get out? He was trying to say he was a sinner. Okay? The word wretch has a lot of different meanings, and it depends on context. Context here says the word wretch means sinner. There is no sign for the word wretch in, in sign language. So you have to figure out what it means, what they're trying to say. Sinner is two X fingers. They kind of start at the chin, and they kind of circle, I don't know really, what, semi-circle, semi-circle out? All right. It kind of goes out this way, not this way. So, sin. Err. All right. So what did I just do there? Anytime you have a verb, you know, like sin, and a person who does that verb, uh, a sinner, then you can put this at the end of your sign, and it is a person who does that. Okay? And a good example would be savior. This is a sign for save. That's a verb. Okay? That means that there's an action behind it. It does something. Save. What do you think a savior would be? A person who saves? Savior. Get it? Okay. Sin. Sinner. Okay. Like me. Okay. This is how they compare things in sign language. So, uh, if you say, oh, I like coconut cream pie, I go, that means you and I are the same. We both like coconut cream pie. Now, if you're allergic to it, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, same and same. Uh, I've got uh, twin daughters, and they're not the same. Okay? Uh, that's a sign for not. It's come underneath the chin there. Anyway, so like me. Me is a pronoun. Okay? Pronouns are really easy in sign language. You know, you've been using the sign language for pronouns ever since you couldn't talk. You. Me. If there was a, let's see, my cat's female. She. He. Uh, the camera. It. You know, that pronoun can, it's just a simple pointing directionally. Okay? I was, I once was lost, but now I'm found. I once. Is he counting here? You know, once, twice, three times? No, he's not really counting here. Think about what the Tron song is trying to say. This is one of the things that fascinated me with sign language when I first started. I was singing songs I had no clue what the words actually meant. But I was singing them loud like everybody else. When I had to do signs, I go, wait a second. I had to understand what it meant. I once in the past. Is the way the, the deaf would sign that. I in the past, I once was, and because it's in the past, I don't have to put the word was in there. That's all connected. I once was, right, lost. I have it in my hand, okay, and I'm walking around carefully, and oh, I lost it, lost. But kind of like railroad, uh, uh, the little thing that come up on the railroad. 
that's but. And it's kind of almost, it's not just but. But is a sort of a quick word, it's a quick sign. But now I am found. Now, now, okay? It's the here, it's the now. And it's just two Y hands with the knuckles out, kind of dropping. Now. Third here, and you doop, drop them a little bit, and that's now. I'm found. In English, we're lazy. In English, we have what we call contractions, because we don't want to use all of that air required to say, I am. So we make an I'm. Okay? The deaf have no such thing. There are no contractions in sign language. I am. Use the breath. Alright? You decontract the words. I am. And I and me is the same sign. You just point to yourself. Am is the letter A and the it's up here on your chin, and it comes kind of straight out, am, okay? It's important to get it up here on your chin, because as we saw just a second ago, if it's under the chin, it's not. So not is under, and am is on the chin coming out. Keep that straight. Otherwise, it changes the meaning of the song. All right, found. Okay, found. It's like... Okay, you've just spilled a bag of jelly beans on the table. And you're looking at them and you go, ha ha, the black one, I found it. And you reach down and you pick it up. Because, of course, we know the black jelly beans are the best jelly beans. Alright, so found. I was blind, but now I see. I, we already got that, was, we already got that blind. Two fingers kind of don't actually poke yourself in the eye, okay? Uh, you don't have to wear safety glasses. Just get close, all right? Blind. But, we already had that one. Now, we already had that one. I, we already had that one. C, it's the opposite of this. It's C, okay? I once was like that, I was blind, but now I see. Okay? Twas grace that brought, that taught my heart to fear. Okay? Twas. Another was, another one of those contractions because it's too hard to say it was. Alright? But it is one of those little words. And we're just going to get rid of it. And we know how to sign was. It was grace. We already covered that one. That, and we're going to leave out the word that. It's one of those connective words. Taught. Taking from my brain and putting it in your brain. That's how teaching happens. Taught. My brain into your brain. My. Now, with pronouns, we already discussed, you know, you, me. If I do it with a finger, it's you and me. If I do it with a palm, it's yours and mine. It shows ownership. So yours and mine and hers and his and its and whatever. Okay? My heart. There's two ways to do heart. One of them with two hands. And you just kind of draw a heart on your chest. That was the easiest one to visualize. You might want to do it that way. I do it as I just do a little circle and touch where the heart is. Both signs are acceptable. And you'll probably see me doing this one, because this is the one I like the best. Heart. It's a little circle, and you're using the center finger here. The center finger, when it's kind of like that, is almost always an emotion type sign. So the heart is the center of your emotion. And uh, that's why heart, heart. To fear. Okay? Two, one little word, kick it out. We don't need it. It's one of those connectors. We don't need those connectors. The deaf don't use them. 
fear. All right, so you go to a movie, and you know it's one of these Halloween movies, and you got the guy who comes up from the back of the couch, and he gets the music going, doom, 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 and you know something terrible is happening, and what's happening? Your your body is going. That's a sign for fear. Okay, that feeling. And you can't be afraid like this. This is not fear. Fear. Okay? Just like uh, when you want to say, you know, amazing and your eyebrows go up, fear your eyebrows kind of go towards the middle. Fear. Get that little crease in your head. Show that you're afraid. That's what fear is. And grace, my fears <sighs> relieved. All right, relief is two hands, one here, one here, the right hand on top, and they just go down. But you got to show it in your. <sighs> okay, see how my shoulders kind of, I kind of deflate a little bit because I'm all tense with my fear, and then they're really. Okay? There's more to signing than just getting your hands right. How precious did that grace appear? Is it a question? Okay? Is it a question? Are we asking, was that grace precious? No. How did we do this before? Truly. Okay? Truly precious. Precious is two F hands. Okay, and they're kind of with your fin with the fingers pointing towards who you're talking to, and you got the little circles on top, all right? And they just kind of open, and they come together. You just make a little circle in the air. If you were to try to describe a donut in the air, that's kind of what it would look like. Where the, this part is the donut, okay? Precious. Are donuts precious? I don't know. Precious. Did that grace appear? Okay. Okay, so let me see how how precious did that grace Okay, I'm gonna put the word that in this time. I was kind of just trying to decide there. Here is more than a connective. Here the word that is talking about the specific one, sort of like the grace. Okay? It's not just connecting one word to another in a phrase. Here it's actually describing that grace, that one, the one that I got. Okay? So, how precious did, okay, the sign for did is just two C hands kind of rocking back and forth. That did and does and do and doing and any one of those D type words. Okay? Did that and it's the letter Y just coming into the hand. Don't ask me why that's that. But that is that. Okay? Grace appear. Kind of like you planted a little seed here and you add a little bit of water to it and Something appears. Okay? The hour is the hour hand on you know, an odd clock. Instead of going this way, which is really hard on the shoulder, it just kind of goes around once. The hour, I, first, okay? Just your thumb up and just thump it. First, be lead. Okay? You point to your head and you cup your hands. Okay? I'm not sure why this comes together as a sign for believe, but it's a sign for think. It's a sign for married. So think married. Believe? I don't know. Anyway, that's believe. When we've been there 10,000 years, when? Alright. You got a lollipop. That's when. Uh, ancient commercial. 
How many licks did it take to get to the dinner of a tootsie roll lollipop? Okay. That's it. When will you get there? We've been there 10,000 years. We've. Uh, this is another one of those contractions. We have. When we been there. Okay. I want you to see how that kind of worked out. Okay. When we, now that's a new one for us, we, we point, it's not just me, it's me and you. All right. We have, past tense, been there. Okay. Kind of a strange uh, connection of signs there. When we've been there, where is there? There is heaven. Heaven is usually above us somewhere. And so we're not going to say been there. We're just going to say there, there. That's the way the deaf would have said it. When we've been there 10,000 years. Let's do that again. 10. It's an A shaking. Alright. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright. 10. 10,000. You just kind of take your hand and come into the palm. Thousand years. This is how it, a year is the sun going around the earth one time. Think about that for a second. Alright. One year. So ten thousand years. Bright. Bright. It's uh, like when you go outside and you're standing out there and somebody turns on the headlights and Oh, blind you. It's bright. Uh, shining. Two emotion fingers down. And they kind of wiggle coming up. Alright. Shining. As the sun. Okay. And I'm going to change the sign for as. This is actually the sign for as. Uh, you have the fingers together here, and then you bring them together, and the same here. So as, but I'm going to say, like the sun. I think I prefer that sign better. We've no less days to sing God's praise. We, okay, we, no less days, okay, we have, here they use have differently than they used before. Before it's talking about past tense. I have done something. Here is I have days. I have. And you take your, the tip of your fingers and kind of touch below your collarbones here. Have. I have. No. Okay. There's several signs for the word that sounds like no. There's no. No, you can't have any bananas. I know. I can't have any bananas because I have no bananas. This is none. All right. This is where I have nothing. So we have none less days. Okay. This would be more. This would be less days to sing. Well, we kicked out the little connective to. Thing. And, you know, the deaf have one sign for music of any kind, kind flavor, whatever you want to. If you want to sing, if you want to have melody, you want to have harmony, you want to have a chorus, you want to have a choir, uh, you know, it, it, this is the sign board. They don't have a whole lot of variation in music because they can't hear music. Interesting that it shows itself in the fact that it only has one sign. Sing. God's praise. God, if you're going to go out like you're going to do a handshake, you're going to bring your arm up like a fence post and set it down. 
not quite that stiff, but that's kind of the point. You kind of like it, you know, post come out, up, and then set it in the hole. All right? God, it's really one fluid motion. It's not an out, up, down. It's a fluid motion. God, and remember what I said about the palm? I said yours. I can say God's is, all right? And so when you see that little apostrophe S at the end of a word so in ownership, you just do that at the end of the word. God's praise golf clap. Now, it's not a, uh, uh, a uh, concert clap. You know, it's a golf clap. You don't hardly hear it. You hear it. If they hear it, then you're clapping too hard. Okay, praise. Than when we first begun, then just kind of hit the ends of your fingernails there, not not the whole hand, just the very tip. Then when, like the lollipop, we you and me first, okay, begun. I'm gonna kind of turn sideways a little bit for that one. Begun. You just kind of, this is your live long and prosper, all right? If you can't live long and prosper, you can do it with the, whichever way your fingers work best, it, it works just the same. But this is your key, you're going to put it in the ignition and start it, turn it, okay? Begun. There is the vocabulary for amazing grace. So here's what I encourage you to do. Close your eyes and sign these words. You know, look at the paper or whatever you put some book. Go, amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Close your eyes and do, amazing grace, how sweet the sound. All right, then look down again. And then practice these things in phrases. Once you feel like you've got them going okay here, then move on to the next video where we'll go through this sung to a certain way, uh, it's not going to have a lot of music. It'll be very, very slow, but it'll do the whole song through just like you would have to do it through, just, just slowly. Okay? So, looking forward to seeing you, you there at LTC. Good luck.